Bang. Needs knives. I'm Jared. I'm with my lovely wife, Kara. Hey guys. She will be running the camera. Uh, apologize ahead of time if you guys hear any noise. We have a little one running around. Not our little one, but a little one. Uh, we are going to give you the stats first, and then we will go over the knife from front to back. And then I will give you, or we will give you our overall opinion on the knife. So stay tuned to the end, guys. All right, guys, here is your stats. If you want to read it in depth, just go ahead and pause the video right now. Um, we're going to go ahead and move on, though. You going to talk, or are you just going to let them just... Are we still recording? Yes, we're still recording. So All I didn't right. know if that was for suspense Dang. or... All right, guys, here, why don't you uh, show them a little bit of the knife while I go over <laughs> some of the stuff. Okay. Finally. That was just for the suspense. Yeah, I see that. All right, guys. It has a three-inch blade, VG, um, VG steel. Rag me. Rag you. Rag me. All right, rag you. It um, has a hollow grind, which means the go the ahead with your hands. Goes down like this, not like this. That'd be a flat grind. It goes down like that, so it is a slicier blade. So let me point out on the knife just what you are talking about. He's talking about this part right here is not go straight. It swoops in a tiny bit. So you have less steel behind the edge. It does get down to a very slicey blade, which is really good, you know, for having a good slicer. Um, I guess it, well, the tip on it is a very strong tip because it has that dual grind on it where it, you see that little swedge that she's showing you right there? That comes back out so that the tip is more thicker, which gives you a nice strong tip for, I guess, prying, picking, whatever you want to do with your tip. So for some tip action. It's uh, overall like the 6.8 inches, so it is a perfect EDC size. It's smaller, but the handle's still a good size for a decent size hand. I got a large hand. I can get a full finger, you know, full hand on it. And the blade is that perfect size where it's, it's small, but it's not too small. You can do lots of work with it. And, uh, you know, not you know, hard work or nothing, but you can do lots of things with it. You cut lots of things with it. It's a very usable blade. It's got uh, G10 handles. These ones are the green ones, obviously. But it does come in black. So just that's a good thing to know. If you don't like the green, you can get the black. It is a liner lock which I think it has about 45% lockup, which is a really good lockup, locks up every time. Um, it does have a, a not deep carry clip. It has a lanyard hole, so if you like lanyards, there you go. The, um, the pocket clip does uh, fit really well, it sits right in the pocket very comfortably. That's tip what's going to stick out about that much. Tip up right or left but not tip down so only tip up carry which is good though more people would rather have a tip up than tip down so let's get oh yeah and there's jipping behind the blade and a little bit on the back of the handle if you watch it closed up those uh the jimping lines up um really good when it's uh open i'm sorry when it's open it lines up really good. <laughs> i was like what are you talking about right now i was trying to show them i'm handle. like this isn't sorry. making sense with the back of the handle and the back of the blade when it's open the jimping lines right up perfectly you can tell the they uh they the, the attention to detail was very um specific in that area let me show them the centering before we move on because it is perfectly centered and we've had this knife for quite some time i use it on a daily basis pretty I'm pretty rough well, on it at yeah, work. Yeah. So if you, you see, it is still... And I've used it, used it yeah. too. So, I mean, it's yeah, definitely yeah. had its time, and it's still yeah. very good. It is um, oh. Foster Browns washers and Teflon washers. I'm which, failing. Which Sorry. makes... She's trying to do it from behind the camera, guys. Which makes Don't her, make excuses I'm for me. I'm making excuses. I suck. I'm trying to help you out. Which there makes we go. For, for very, very smooth action. I'm going to get to all that here in a second, though. But, yeah, there you guys go. That's the front to back. Bang, bang. Here, let me see it. And cut. Action. So, um, my opinion on the knife. <laughs> Where's that knife rag? The knife wipe. It's, um... It's a very snappy blade. It has a very, very light detent. Um, some people might consider it too light. You see that? I mean, it is a very light detent, but I would not have it any other way 
because it does have thumb studs, but it makes for a very, very snappy action. I can finger flip it. I can thumb flip it. I can pretty much flip it any way besides with a flipper tag because it doesn't have one. But so it's very snappy, which makes for really good. What's up, baby? Can I come in? Come on in, baby. Um, normally I invite her. She said she didn't want to, though. Um, I changed my mind. This is so, my favorite knife. Well, one of my favorite knives. I can't say that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's 4.11 ounces. It's a, it's a lightweight. It's um that perfect weight for its size. So it's it's actually a really good knife. Um, I do have really good opinions on it. You see my full hand grip on there. So and I still have plenty of blade mm -hmm. for lots of action. I'm so surprised how good that fits in your hand. Like I never yeah. really noticed how much. It's like it fits your hand the same as mine in a weird Super way. Super comfortable too. Super yeah. duper comfortable. And These grooves in the G10. If you can't can't see from there, but it come. There's actually like whoop whoop like little grooves, yeah. and they they're nice. Yeah, it does they're work nice. for uh, for holding on to it with yeah. a firm grip. It's um the type of knife though where you don't have to choke up on the blade. Like mm -hmm. you don't really want to go like this on it. I mean, mm -hmm. you can if you want to, but you don't have to though because you can choke up right up here, right on the handle, and you get the same type of grip, which makes for I mean a really good you know cutting uh cutting action i guess you'd say mm -hmm. um if you did have even a bigger hand or wearing gloves you can easily just round it right there at the bottom but uh, like i said there's still there's plenty of um i guess real estate for your hands but like she was saying it does have grooves along here so yeah. you get like it's almost like like it's it's almost like it hangs onto your hand you know question yeah it's smooth g10 too so baby is that considered like milling on the G10? Is that what that I, is? Yeah, like, I guess what you, is can that? Consider, you can consider it milling or just the grind work because what it is is they sanded this down. They sanded this side down a little bit more um, than right here in the middle. They left this part unsanded as much. Some sanding then? Yeah, that's basically what it is, a sanding or a machine did it, you know, milling or whatever. The, um, the pivot collar is, uh, I think it's a T8 on one side. I think it's T8. Doesn't matter. You'll figure it out. I isn't guess, there yeah. not a pivot? Isn't it just a pivot? It's a T8. Yeah, it's a T8 on one side. Is that a pivot? I meant the, to say T8. The pivot collar <laughs> is, the T8 is only on one side. The other side is a smooth pivot collar. So, you know, you only have to um, undo one side. She's taken it apart multiple times. Yeah, and I can't remember if it locks up on you or not or if it rotates. I can't remember. Either way, it's you know it's smooth on one side, so you only have to take up one side. And either way, it was really easy, at least for this one, because this specific knife, you can't say all knives are going to be really easy. Yeah. But it did, like we were saying earlier, it has phosphor bronze washers and Teflon washers. And a lot of washers, too. Yeah, lots of them. Two bronze, one Teflon on each side. Which I think is what makes for such smooth action. Definitely. And this thing is, I mean, incredibly smooth, even on the drop. Look at that. I mean, you would think this thing had multi-row ball bearings, the way it's uh, smooth. Because this is a light blade. You have yeah. to think how light this blade is, and look at how free it just drops. I mean, come on. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, the jimping on the back of the blade, or back of the spine, eh, you can use it. You could, you but you don't, you don't really need to. What was the mean for? Well, because it's not really aggressive. Oh, you know, it's yeah. just it's it's but I like that. I don't want to get sawed in half just from Right, some people do though. So it's <laughs> it's medium um, aggressive. What? Well, some people want to something. get sawed in half. Well, their finger they want something really strong because they're going to be pushing down really hard and they don't want their hand to slide up on the blade. They're going to get sawed in half either way then. Either by the yeah. blade or the jimping. Right, but they'd rather the jimping than the blade. Okay. I'll, um, I'll, I'll I'll take that. Okay. It. Um, it has, uh, this normally comes with one screw on the other side for the, um, the clip flip. So if you're going to flip it to the other side, you can use the, obviously the same screws, but she put in an extra screw on this side. I they call did them courtesy screws. They did give you one courtesy screw and left one hole open. I it's don't like, know why. Why, why, why half-ass that job? They give did. Give me two screws. I don't like empty holes. It looks unfinished. They did half-ass like that, but besides that, though, she put in an extra put screw. Put in a nice titanium screw from like a $300 knife. And I said, you know what? This deserves it. So, uh, 
Thanks, Dave. Um, <laughs> but um, that's gonna seem so random. Yeah, nobody will understand <laughs> no one that one. Dave is. It's okay. <laughs> um, it's it is a, a really good night. Though I have a lot of good things to say about it. I don't have much bad to say about it. The only thing mm -hmm. bad I could think of anything that anybody would want to say about it is just the light detent. But you I really, like it. I like it though. Yeah, I like, I like the all light all different detent. knives, so yeah. I like a light detent knife. Yeah, throwing, throwing I really do, because you can fidget this knife all day. It's not and like this one with the, never the power detent. Right. It's like a super, magnet. Right, but you know, like just like with that, I like that too. So I want, sometimes I it's want different. knives with light detents. That have and a variety. It has the fidget factor. That's the reason why I like it so much. That's not a fidget factor knife. This nope. is. This one, if you get it, you're going to have a lot of fun fidgeting with it. It's You can fidget with it all day, and I love it. Let's do a quick size comparison, Ooh, and then we'll, we'll finish up the I'm video. Here is the Kershaw Leak Pivot to Pivot. You can see they're almost the same size. And then you have the... the Rogue? The Kaiser Rogue. This is pretty much the exact same size. Just those are the utility Let's blades. Let's just do a common one. And then here's a little bit bigger one. Uh, bare knuckle. I don't know how common it is because it's a little newer. But there is the yeah. bare knuckle. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe you're right on that. But one. yeah, it's a very good knife. And um, yeah, if you guys are looking for a smaller EDC and want something with a nice cuttable blade, usable blade, very slicey blade, and it has a little bit of a belly there. I don't know if I said that or not, but yeah, guys, check it out. Needs knives. Bang. Needs knives. Oh, gee. Bam, 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 bam